first of all, working in a group that feels supportive, where you like the other people, that's part of it. Part of it is compartmentalizing. You know, if I lose a tennis match, for example, I say to myself, well, someone in my lab is doing a good experiment today, so I'm not gonna worry too much about losing the tennis match. I'm, I'm being a little facetious here, but the point is that, that I think for anyone who's embarking on a life in science and knows that there's going to be a lot of frustration, you have to have other things in your life that, that keep you going. Uh, one thing I recommend to new students or new postdocs is that they have two, two experimental lines going at once. One that may be very risky and will produce a lot of frustration, and another that, well, that's interesting, but you know you're gonna get gratification. The techniques are better established and you will get some results. Um, and I think that's particularly true um, when, when people are uncertain about their career choice and they get overly um, uh, uh, discouraged by uh, having uh, difficulty in getting experiments to work. So there's no solution to that. There are people who work in my lab and uh, never really got any good results. One of them is now a patent lawyer um, that just left science and that's all right. She has a very interesting life and knows science. Um, so I, I do think there are ways you, productive ways to make, to have a, 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 a happy, productive life in which you are improving the world without being someone who is actually doing experiments in a laboratory.